One in five Australians experience fire each year. Some of these are caused by electrical system failures or appliance defects, but many more are caused by misuse or improper maintenance of electrical appliances, improperly installed wiring, or overloading of circuits and extension cables. There are some simple steps you can take to prevent the loss of life and property resulting from electrical fires. If you have an electrical appliance that smells a bit strange, unplug it. Exposed or frayed cords on electrical appliances are extremely dangerous and can cause electric shock or an electrical arc that can cause a fire. If you find a cord in poor condition, remove it and replace it or have it repaired by a qualified electrician. If an electrical cord feels warm to the touch, unplug it and throw it away. Extension cords are only designed for short term use. If you have a cord with exposed leads or a cracked or broken plug, replace it. Don't run leads under rugs or carpets. The lead can be crushed by furniture or overheat which can reduce the insulation leading to electrical shock or fire. Whenever possible, turn off TVs and DVD players at the wall when you're not using them. By using the remote control, you're putting them into standby mode, which means the units are still consuming power and heat's being generated via the electrical components. Turning them off at the wall socket means that you're increasing the life of the appliance and reducing your power bills as well. When you're going away from home on holidays, turn off all non-essential electrical appliances and unplug them from the wall socket. By doing this, you're reducing the chance of electrical fault and saving even more energy. Make sure you use energy efficient globes of the correct wattage in all lamps and lights. Globes of the incorrect wattage can overheat and start a fire. Lamps should be on a secure table to limit the chance of them falling over and keep flammable materials away from the globe. Never overload power outlets. Too much power is drawn along the one wire which can cause overheating melting the insulation and potentially causing a fire. Power boards are safer to use, but when purchasing a power board, select one with an overload switch. These automatically cut out when the board is overloaded. Place power boards in ventilated areas and keep them free of dust. Don't overload power outlets or power boards by piggybacking multiple plugs into the one socket or by using double adapters. All power boards have a maximum current rating which must not be exceeded. It's safer to have additional power outlets installed by a qualified electrician than it is to use multiple power boards. Never plug high wattage appliances such as heaters into power boards or extension leads as they can overheat the electrical circuitry and potentially cause a fire. Instead, plug them directly into the power outlet. While we're here, ensure that clothes, curtains and bedding are nowhere near the heater. And remember, don't spray household cleaners, detergents or insecticides on power points or switches. And don't wipe power points or switches with a wet cloth. Finally, turn your electric blanket off before you get into bed. You can become dehydrated or receive burns from improper use of electric blankets. It's best to store electric blankets rolled, not folded. This avoids kinks and bumps in the wiring which can split and become exposed. It's easy to forget this is an electrical appliance so there's always a fire risk. Before securing to the bed, check the cord and controller for damage like you would any other appliance. Then test it. Lay it out flat on the bare mattress, plug it in, turn it on and wait for five minutes for it to warm up. Once you're satisfied it's in good order, secure it properly so it doesn't get creased with use and make the bed up. Never use an electric blanket on top of your body like a regular blanket.
controllers must be kept clear of the bed covers. Regularly check for kinks and wear and tear on the blanket, power cord and controller. If you're in any doubt, get it checked out by a qualified specialist. Circuit breakers are designed to prevent the overload of power cables that can cause fires. Safety switches are different. They turn off in a split second from any kind of earth leakage and they're designed to prevent you from becoming electrocuted. They've got a test button on them which should be pressed every couple of months to make sure that they're working properly. They turn the power off but they can be reset by turning the switch back on. Since 1992, all homes must have safety switches fitted to power circuits. With clothes dryers, it's a good idea to clean the filter after every load. Filters that are clogged with lint can catch fire if the motor overheats. Also, by cleaning it, the dryer can run more efficiently, saving money too. Allow the cool down cycle to finish. The cool down cycle prevents dried clothes that are still hot from smouldering and catching fire. Regularly cleaning air conditioning filters is important as well and they should be cleaned according to the manufacturer's instructions. Remove the filter, brush it to remove the dirt and then clean it with water. It's also important to keep fireplaces clean and covered by screens. To prevent the soot from a fireplace blocking the chimney, regularly clean the fireplace, particularly during the cooler months of the year. Embers and ash from a fireplace can spread if there's not a screen in place to prevent this from happening. 